So today we have with us a young individual. He's so talented, so vibrant, so full of energy. He's 19 years of age. He's in college. He works to support his family as a pharmacy technician. And on top of that, he sings as well. And to him, singing is a way to communicate his message to the world. Let's get to meet him and hear his story and why he sings, what inspires him, what keeps him going, and how he's able to combine all three successfully at the age of 19. Let's get into it. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I can hear it. Okay. It's much better. Hey, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What are you drinking? Uh, I just got some uh, some tropical smoothie. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Nice one, nice one. <laughs> it's been a while, so I've been looking forward to this. Yeah, me too. It's been a while. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a while. How's it going? It's been good. Been uh, trying to live. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Trying to live. Yeah, nice mm-hmm. one. Nice one. Nice one. So what's been happening? I've I've noticed that you you have some nice um, trucks and um, you've been rapping. Yeah, I've been trying to um, uh, rapping is like a new passion of mine. Okay. Uh, actually, this, yeah. So it's something I like to do now. Is it's like um, it's like therapy. Like I get anything that's on my mind, anything that's bothering me, I, I can say whatever I want, how I want it, and it's like putting in like like poetry and like a rhyme scheme. So whenever I have something on my mind, I make a song. Whenever I have like late night inspiration, I make a song. So it's something that it's just coming to me recently, but I, I love to do it. Oh, nice one, nice one, nice one. So you had it all. Um, if you have anything to say, please be creative with it. The world is your stage, so go all out for it. This is Michael with us right now, so stay tuned. Click the um, the subscribe button, and um, let me take that again. <laughs> Definitely hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Everybody go subscribe. Uncle, hit the subscribe button below. I think this is going to go far. It's the first of many. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is, it is. All right, let's get started. Who is Michael? Um, Michael is a young Ghanaian kid uh, who has sickle cell, who's, uh, you know, just turned 19 and is coming in the world trying to, you know, find himself, find his purpose, what he wants to do in life, and also just uh, think ahead, you know make good decisions and take care of his family so rapping plays a big part of that but yeah that's that's who michael is he's nice. a college student he's an, uh, a pharmacy technician wow. a son wow keep going keep going i like it i, I like her spirit you know tell us more don't just leave it there give us some detail <laughs> uh he's a son uh he's a brother Try to be the best brother I can. Support my sister. Support my family. Uh, I'm a forty. I'm in school full time. I work full time. I I go to the gym four days a week. Trying to you know take care of myself. Try to eat uh, eat as much as I can. Try to gain weight too. And uh, yeah, I make music on top of that. Yeah. And that, so, that's my- well, you're in school. You are working. You go to the gym. Taking care of family. Plus, you make music music on top. Mm-hmm. How do you manage all of this? This seems to be like someone who who knows who knows exactly what he's about, and who has life kind of figured out. Who has who has the picture in mind as to where he's going? So tell us more. Tell us more. How are you able to manage manage all of this school work? Because I, I heard you mention you are what pharmacy technician. Yeah, and you're still in school and you are doing music. Bro, give us yeah. more detail. <laughs> I'm really interested. <laughs> Honestly, um, I never thought of myself as a busy person, but uh, it's true. I'm a busy person, and 
I really try to manage it all just by staying focused. Um, it may seem like I have everything together and I have a bit, I definitely have a vision, but I don't, how, how did you put it? Um, knows what you, I think you said you, I know what, like I want out of life or. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I have everything figured out. I think that's what you said, but that's far from the case. I actually, I actually been feeling lost for like a long time. That's part of the uh, reason I make music. I used to have, I used to think I had everything figured out, but you know, no one has everything figured out. At, especially at 18, 19. So I always planned on, you know, being a pharmacist, a pharmacist. That's why I work as a pharmacy technician. So I got a job as a technician. And once I got in that, that field and that environment, I realized it's not what I want in my life. So now I've been trying to figure out like what route I want to take now. And if this route is really what I want, is this something I'm going to be happy doing for the rest of my life? So that's been like a question in the balance, but I just try to stay focused on like one goal at a time and move forward, you know, step by step each day. Nice one. Nice one. So tell us um, about, about school because I did some little research and I realized that you've been hitting your, you know, your mark. You've been, you've been scoring, you know, high in school. You've been, you've been, you've, you've been acing it. So how did you manage school? How did you manage to, to get all the high scores and how did you manage to get into the, technician job line because others are really struggling to keep a job to no let me rephrase they're struggling to even find a job come to even think of keeping it but you have been able to conquer the two you found one you are keeping it and you are still in school and you are doing so well with your music so let's hold on with the music because you have some freestyles to give to us but then <laughs> we'll come to that later on i don't know about that one <laughs> <laughs> yeah Tell us more about how you're able to stay focused in school because at your age, others are, well, all over the place, but you seem to, well, and I say again, to have it figured out. You are disciplined, you are you are focused. Let me not take the wind out of your sail, so. Um, with school, honestly, with the pandemic, school has really been online, so that's helped me a lot. Like, I'm not, I don't have to leave the house to you know get in class and all that so i've really been trying my best taking as many classes as i can and uh just trying to balance it with work i don't really you know go out much besides you know hanging with my friends here and there i I have really close friends that i talk to like on a daily basis but i'm not someone who goes out much so i really just try to like lock in on what i want and a lot of it comes from my mom watching my mom uh, all these years, like, especially when I was old enough to, like, comprehend what she was going through and all she did for us, all the sacrifices she made. My mom is a grinder. So seeing her inspired me. And I think that's where I got that that grit to, like, chase what I want, chase my dreams. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Nice one. So if you are watching this video, please, I hope you are picking some lessons from what Michael is sharing with us. It's all about being disciplined. It's all about being grateful. It's all about looking out for others and not um, making it all about yourself. Putting others first, putting yourself in their shoes and the kind of appreciating the sacrifice they're actually making for you. And um, of course, doing your part to make sure their sacrifice is worthwhile. Yeah. All right. Nice one. Nice one, nice one. Nice. I really appreciate it, Michael. So now let's go back back to um, the the music side. So do you do you just you know get the bass onto other other people's tracks, or you produce your own tracks, and then you also do the? Well, I'm not in that area, so I don't know what I called mixing or how do you do it? Take us through it. <laughs> um, uh, I don't produce my own. Like um, I was, I do mix and master my own music. I do record myself. I do publish it out myself, promote. I do all of that myself, but I actually try to make beats. That's how actually I started making music. My uncle, um, uncle, my uncle Clifford, I went out with him one day and he's different from, I guess the kind of like talk we had was different from what I would have with most African uncles. You know, most African uncles and aunties, they tell you go to school and work hard, get a good job. But he actually sat me down and he told me to do what makes me happy try new things. He told me to try making beats. Uh, he said, I might be good at it. He just said to like, try new, take a risk while you're young. That's the mm. message I got. Yeah. So I tried making beats and I spent months trying to make beats. I studied, I researched, I bought a uh, professional software, but I could not in like a year, I could not make one beat. <laughs> so 
it's just I realized it wasn't for me. So I tried to make a song one day and I finished it. The song wow. wasn't good, but I finished it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And once I finished that song, this was probably back in August, August, September. Once I finished that song, I knew that I could keep going. So I made another song. And then my third song that I made, that's the first song that I put out called Reboot You. So that was the song that I finished. And I was like, I want people to hear this. I want everyone yeah. to hear this. Yeah. So after yeah. that, it just became like a, it came like a, a hobby. Not a hobby, but it came like a passion. Like anytime mm-hmm. I have something on my mind, I want to say it on the track. So usually I just like, I look online for beats, like on YouTube, I look for beats when I'm about to record and whatever sounds right to me, I'll sit there with the mic and I'll, you know, try to come up with uh, bars and try to like rhyme everything together until I come up with a hook. And then once the hook is done, I just keep going and, you know, whatever's on my mind, that's what I'll say. And just try to like put it all together so it sounds like a, like a story. Yeah, nice, 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 nice one, nice one. So that's how you're able to come up with your lyrics. Good one. Mm-hmm. So, can you give us some 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 freestyle? You mentioned your first song. It means the second before a third, definitely. <laughs> so, how many tracks do you have right now? Um, right now, I think I have about twenty. What? 20, Whoa! Yeah, I have, yeah, that's including what's out. So, I think I have like three songs out, and then I have like in total, I have like maybe twenty, twenty-one. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to make more. For someone who almost gave up, I think that's 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 a good achievement. Believe me, you've done so well. Yeah, yeah you've done Thanks. so well. So, from what you've you've just told us, it means your journey was <laughs> was it wasn't smooth. It was kind of rough, a bit bumpy. But then you almost felt like giving up. That's the the impression I'm getting from what you're saying. You didn't feel like even continuing. But after your first one came out and then you listened to it yourself, you you then appreciated the hard work that you put into it. And then yeah. you decided to, to stay consistent. And out of staying consistent, you've been able to produce 21 tracks. Oh, no, yeah. All in all, wow. yeah. Wow. You see, everything that you are saying right now proves what's what's all the um, the great guys who have succeeded out there and are trying to motivate we, the young ones, have been saying. And all that they say is that to be successful, you need to be hungry. <laughs> That's one. You need to be resilient. You need to, you need to want change and not just want it. You need to kind of breathe change. You need to feel, feel it. And then you need to see something that you want to achieve. And then go all out for it by remaining consistent in your progress that you're making every single day. Sometimes I do listen to the athletes, you know, um, they do tell that when they are rehearsing and they are practicing and they are training, it feels like there's no point in doing what they are doing. You know, it feels so tiring, so stressful that when they go and they get onto the tracks and they win the race, when they're holding their gold medal, receiving all the, you know, the applause, that's when they feel that, yeah, everything has paid off. So yeah, I think I really, really feel what you're saying and you've done so well to be able to motivate yourself to come this far to get 21 tracks. Michael, you are a hero. <laughs> Thank you. Ollie. Yeah, you are doing so well. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm, I'm very, very um, proud proud of you. Keep up the- I um, appreciate Yeah, the world needs to, needs to know of you. The world needs to hear your voice. So from what you said so far, you said it's more like your journal. It's what is like, and I use the word therapy because it's your word. You said music is like therapy to you. It's like your journal. Yeah. So what are some of the words that you 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 pour out into your music? Can you give us some, some of these, at least from the 21 tracks, give us one. Okay. Um I made a one song. I made one song recently. I think this is one of my best. It's called um, "Life Is What You Make It," and I'm not the best freestyler, but this is something that I wrote from the song. And in the song, I say, um, "They say life is what you make it. Remember, if you get caught, just don't say it. I was at a very bad end, and I promise it didn't come up with a plan. I'm trying to just run out the bands. I'm further from where I began. Somebody just passed me a fan of law to hate." I can't let it get in my way. I can't let it block out the shine. That's meant to be mine. I got to get up on my grind. I ain't no waste no time. Oh, <laughs> but that's just something like, Whoa. I really want to make the best of life. And 
a son that I felt like was like a great description of where I'm at right now in life and trying where I want to get to. And it just talks about like, you know, things I deal with daily and, you know, what was really on my mind that night. Well, well, nice, 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 nice. This is so interesting. If you're watching this video, there are some lessons in here that I'm hoping and believing that you are really taking in, um, that's taking note of and um, allowing yourself to be inspired. All right, let me not make it, make it up about, about me or whoever it is. <laughs> it's all about you, Michael. Um, so I do believe that with music, it's, it's art. And um, just like every industry, music has got its own industry. People tend to focus on certain areas of music. We have reggae, we have dancehall, we have gospel, we have different, different, different genre. Yeah? Genus or genre? Genus. Yeah. <laughs> like it's I said, yeah, it's not my field. So if I get it wrong, don't laugh at me, viewer. <laughs> I think you've been wrong. All right. So which one are you focusing on? Uh, I would say like I focus on um, like here in the U.S. it's called trap music, but I wouldn't say it's like I, I would say I make more of like melodic trap music. So it's something okay. more like you can it's a little bit more melodic hip hop. That's what I would say my genre is. OK. OK. Nice, nice, nice. Would you want us to uh, put on some beats? So, so, so you, you, you give us some, um, some freestyle. <laughs> I don't know if I'm there yet with the freestyle. I'm still working <laughs> on trying to freestyle, but I would love to play on um, part of that song. That song I was telling you about. Earlier. I would mm -hmm. love to play mm -hmm. some of that. All right. So, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Can I hear it? Yes. so 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 well this is nice this is a good track yeah i love the voice 
Do you have like a um, lyrics lyrics um, video? Uh, no, usually just on TikTok. Like I'll make a like a, whatever I feel like is the best part. I try to promote that on like TikTok, and I'll put the lyrics up in like a sequence. But I've never done like a full like lyric video for one of my songs. So, is there any instrumentals that I'm still on the freestyle? <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. So you we will get back to that later on. But at uh, nineteen, at nineteen years, mm. is there any advice that you want to give to anyone out there who's watching this interview? Um, I would honestly just say to keep trying. Uh, I, there was a point where I wanted to give up. There's, I still feel lost now. You know what I'm saying? I don't have all the answers. No one has all the answers. But I think. What uh, makes me stand out is that I keep going, I keep trying. No matter you know what I'm going through, no matter how I feel in the morning, good days, bad days, I always try to do my best and have a productive day and set out to achieve whatever I want to achieve, whether it's this week, next week. So I would honestly just say, just keep going, keep trying. No matter if it's music, school, work, trying to start your own business, just keep going. You'll get there. Nice one. Nice one. I really appreciate it. So are you open to, um, say, investors, if anyone wants to support your cause, if, 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 if anyone wants to support you in um, what you stand for in terms of your goals and being willing to give back to, to society, if anyone wants to work with you, um, are you, are you open to such um, collaborations? I'm definitely open to that, yeah. I love to work with uh, I also want to start my own business, so I, I would love to work with investors or maybe other artists. I've never, I've yet to make a song with anyone else yet, so I'd love to do that too. So I'm definitely open to that. Or even like content creators, like other YouTubers or TikTokers or people who do, like social influencers. I'm open to all of it. I think everything's worth a try. Yeah, nice one, nice one. So that's it. Um, if you happen to get the option the chance to pick who you want to collaborate with in terms of song collaboration who would you pick uh definitely Lil Durk. Uh, why i started listening to, uh, Hi, Derek. i started listening to Lil Durk mm -hmm. in um in the sixth grade i was about maybe 11 and i don't he was someone that grew up in chicago with, like gang violence and struggled and all that so i don't really relate to like the gang violence part but when it comes to like having a hard time coming up and watching your parents struggle, which leads you to struggle, not having, you know, the best as a child. I really relate to that. So when I listen to his music, even to this day, he's still my favorite artist, but when I listen to his music, I can feel that pain too, that I can feel the pain and the emotion in his songs. And that's the same thing I try to put into, into my music. Like I want people to be able to relate and, you know, feel what I go through, through this music. So he's someone that I've always been, I've always looked up to with music and I never thought that I could make music myself. So now that I'm at a point where I know what I'm capable of, I would love to like work with him one day. That's a big goal of mine. Nice, nice, nice one. So Lord Derek, if you are listening to this video, please give Michael a chance, explore his potential, get to know what he's made of. At least one track, just one, is all it takes. <laughs> yeah if you are interested in collaboration the possibilities are endless please um get in touch how does one get in touch with you uh anyone can get in touch with me my instagram is open it's public you can send me a message on instagram i'll see it um my, i also have like my other social media accounts and like uh, there's a link in my instagram bio you can contact me through Twitter, TikTok, uh, Instagram, any one of those platforms. I can you can be able to reach me. Okay. If anyone wants to wants you to produce beats beats for him or her, are you open to that as well? Do you do you produce beats for people, or would you want no, to consider I, that? I no, I don't make beats. I can um, I can mix and master. When it comes to music, like when the song is finished, I can mix and master, put all the effects to make it sound, you know, crisp and all that. I can do that. If anyone wanted to um, get in, like, get in tap with me with that, I can do that. But no, I'm not, I can't make beats. But yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So you heard him. If you need his services, please get in touch. 
his um, contacts are in the description of this video. If you have any questions or comments, please um, leave it in the, in the comment section. But um, follow Michael on his um, social media handles and then reach out to him directly via the, um, the different um, messaging channels from those social media um, portals. So for now, there are no music videos out yet. No, nah, I haven't got to that point yet. I really want to wait till I get a, a solid fan base where there's people like expecting music right now. Right now, I'm trying, I'm trying to get exposure. I'm trying to get discovered. I don't think being a um, get like having a music video. I think a music video might help me, but I just really want there to be like a strong like outcome if I make a music video. So I don't think I'm there yet, but sometime this year probably. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice one. Nice one. We are all here to help. Okay. We are all here to help mm -hmm. you in, in any way that, that we can. But we really appreciate the hard work. It's so nice to see a young gentleman like you, 19 years, who is um, focused, dedicated to uh, a good cause and um, is willing and able to, to, to make an impact in society, especially with your voice through music. Music goes a long way and is one of the best means of communication. And you are using it to the best of your abilities. You are really, really doing well, Michael. We really, we really um, applaud you for that. Keep up the good work. Is there any 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 question you you want to ask me? It's been one way um, all throughout. Talk to me. Ask me a question. Why did you start this channel? Why did you decide now? I feel like you've been capable of doing YouTube for like a long time, and that's something I'm very happy to see you do. But I feel like you could have done this a long time ago. So why now? What about this timing? <laughs> Right. Well, um, it's all about finding my voice and um, also giving voice to others. I realize that tomorrow is never promised. I have so much to be thankful for. Yeah. If I if I'm to start listening, the list is endless. Yeah. But on top of that list, I have a computer and I have internet. <laughs> Yeah, and I have the skill to make all of this happen. So why wait? Why not now? What is my excuse? If I can start something and then get others to also appreciate and then help people, help others out there, you know, that's the little I can also contribute to society. Yeah, besides sharing what I know, which I know will, in, will inform, impact, inspire, and motivate others, there's so much more to do. So we are, we are better off starting now than later. You know, so I felt, okay, like you said, I could have done this a long time ago, but it's never too late. Yeah, never. Yeah. That's why yeah, I, I started it. Yeah, I want to applaud you for that. So I want to thank you too for giving me the opportunity to like share what I'm doing and all that. I think what you're doing is amazing to like think of others and give them a voice and a platform to share what they do too. So not most people think of others in that way and try to help benefit others in that way and that type of light. So I think it's amazing what you're doing. And I really think there's a lot, so much potential here. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad I was, the second interview, I, I was, I'm very glad. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Thanks for that feedback. That feels like a good reward for starting um, a YouTube channel. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's all about the fulfillment, you know. Um, it's priceless. Yeah, that's why we do we do what 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 we do. You know, I started this um charity back in Ghana, which is still running. It's called Eudaimonia International Foundation. It is mainly to reach out to the elderly, our fathers and mothers who are aged, who are who don't have all the strength that we have. You know, it's it's about reaching out to them, taking care of their health needs, making sure that they are fit. And um, they, they get the attention that they, 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 they deserve. Some of them, their children have left for school. They've traveled, relocation, life happens. At the end of the day, these parents, 50, 60, 70, 80, they are, they are very, very weak and they're growing weaker by the day. And they have no one to really uh, attend, attend to them. Um, but because of self-respect and because of not wanting to bother anyone, they tend to keep quiet. So if no one stands up and then go look for them and ask them, are you okay? And offers to, to check their health to find out how well they are doing, they end, end up dying dying too soon. But meanwhile, they are they, um, they are backbone and they, they have all the wisdom, you know, and they can best impact us and advise us and at least 
teachers on the right path um, to, to, to take. They play a significant role. So I started this, this charity in, in Ghana. And um, yeah, as part of that, I felt, okay, if there's more that we can do and use these channels like YouTube that we are doing right now to inform the world of what everyone else out there is doing. I think there are so many others out there who also, who are involved in so many charitable activities. Like what you are doing, you are informing the world. You are inspiring people. You are you are you are you are preaching something, some message that someone will listen and be informed and be inspired to act, and in a good way. You know there are others out there who are, who are equally doing um, so much. If you check the description of this particular video, you see so many other people who are involved in charitable activities like Mentonect, like Ghana Girl Guides. Um, there are so many things happening. You know, but. Well, if all of us are to act and act now and do something, no matter how small, the world will become a better place. So that's why we do what we do. And that's why this, this channel was started. That's an amazing message. Yeah. <laughs> amazing message. I think that charity is an amazing idea because I think you're right. Like uh, a lot of old folk, especially Ghanaians, tend to put things to the side because of respect. Respect is something that means so much to them. And their life is hanging in the balance because of it and not so many think about you know how that affects them and how they're living back in Africa everyone just thinks about getting out and you know doing good for themselves so for you to think about your home where you come from is amazing yeah I hope to do something like that too when I get older I start a charity <laughs> start a foundation yeah believe me there's something I have learned over the period and um I would say you have already started that dream. You are already on that path and you're already far ahead than others who are still dreaming because you are acting. You are doing something about your dream, about your vision. You started, it was difficult. You kept pushing, you are seeing results and it's motivating you to even go the extra mile. And now we are here. And guess what? You have 21 tracks full of messages that can inspire others, can, can get them to have to have a change of mind and haven't heard what you just said or the words in your song that we just listened to right now, Michael. I think you have you have some 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 gifts to this world, and I believe that millions out there are going to be changed, are going to be inspired, are going to see life from a different perspective by simply listening to your songs. So that's the gift I see in you. So keep up the good work, keep pushing. Keep writing um, your messages. I believe there's a lot out there that the world needs to hear, the world needs to know. At 19 years, Michael, <laughs> yeah, you're a great man. Yeah, you're a great man. We pray, yeah, we pray for, lo for long life and good health. The world will see yes. the better side of you. We've seen nothing yet. Thank you. It means a lot coming from you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you have greatness in you. So keep doing what you're doing, yeah? Oh, yeah. Keep keep scoring high in school. Keep doing the good job that you are doing as a um, um, pharmacy technician. And um, your songs, we are all in to promote you, to support you as far as we can go to make sure you are a success. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. That means a lot. There's not that many support like you do, but I appreciate the kind words. Take a lot. It takes a great leap. Yeah. 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 All right, viewers, please subscribe to this channel. If you know anyone doing any awesome work who has just started, who is thinking about starting, or has, has already um, achieved some significant milestones out there, hey, get in touch or help us get in touch with that person. Let's share the message. It's all about motivating others to start something that they are, you know, it's about motivating others to start something. Yeah, and all of us forming that um, collaborative network where we support each other, okay? Like team, like blockchain, we need each other to survive. No one is an island. If you're out there struggling um, and, you th and you think that you are alone, you are never alone. Yeah? There's someone out there. We are here to support you. Get in touch. Let's hear your story. Let's broadcast your message. Let the world know what you are doing. And someone out there can reach out to you and support you and provide, and provide for you all the resources that you need to help you get that good, good um, project started or to sustain it, yeah? And to help others also become better, improve their lives, all because you started and someone reached out to you. 
that's the message. All right. Very massive. Very massive. All right. To so meet again. <laughs> I think um yeah. Right. Yeah, that should do right. All right. I think that was good. All right, nice one. So I think we have around, um, we started around 8.05. It's now 8.53. That should be around 49 minutes. Of course, if you do the editing, that should take out around 10 minutes thereabouts. So that should leave us with about 10, 30, 35 minutes thereabouts roughly, you know, which is not bad. From now onwards, it's about branding. Yeah? Yeah. It's about branding. So I will advise you take some professional pictures, studio pictures, um, you name it. It could be outdoor, street level, street like street style. But either way, just make it professional, because people are going to start to know about you, to ask questions about you know who Michael is, and they're going to start looking looking out for you, wondering whether you have any social media. They will go out there. What pictures are there right now? If the media wants to pick pick it up, they're going to copy your pictures on social media. So make sure they are clean and then top notch because it's a it's a representation of you. Okay. okay, so I think that's my advice not to you right now because right now you're out there. So people are gonna see. So yeah, get that ready, make it available. And then from there, let's work on the, the music video needs not be as expensive as that or as top notch as that. It's all about the message, yeah? Keep it simple, keep it straight to the point. And um, believe me, once you get one out, you get two out, you get three out, there's more to do, there's more to do. By the time that the world gets to know of you, you have so much content out there that um, you now have support. You now have people on, on your team who are taking different, different, different bits of the whole journey from marketing to the video productions to the um, well, production aspect, well, music production aspect. I'm not really, I'm not that into music, so forgive me if I don't get the, the key skills you know, on point. But I do believe that there's going to be a split of responsibilities. By that time, yeah. you are focused on writing your lyrics or doing something that you are you are you are really good at, and that's maintaining your brand and singing okay. good songs. You know, so it's a journey. But for now, let's start working on that. From A to Z, if you if you enjoyed the intro music, if you enjoyed his. Um, um, sample that we, we heard from this video, it's been Michael all throughout, you know, it's been his songs, it's been, it's been about him all throughout this entire video. So if you really enjoyed it, check him out, go look for him. Uh, anything music, business related, just reach out to him and he's your man. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Everything's going to be below. Make sure you take a listen and uh, I'm always open to feedback. So let me know what you think. All right. Nice one. We will touch base with you again um, in the course of the year to see how far we've, we've gotten to with um, our discussion, the music career, um, college and all. So definitely um, the world would want to know how far you've gone with um, this this discussion, this journey. So we speak soon. Yeah. Okay. All right, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dance, uh... We'll see you again. Bye. All right. Thanks, Uncle. Look, temptation with hell of a bitch. It's throwing a fit, but I'm trying to get rich. Me and my brother, we riding like little and stitch. Even though they trying to do me like Mitch. I cannot go like no bitch, so I'm watching my corners. I gotta look out for the hit. They think that it's magic the way that I spit. I pop out, I'm doing a trick. I'm moving real quick, I got money to get. Trying to hop in the bed and take off like a jet. Bad bitch, she a brunette. ROTC, she was screaming cadet. I'm trying to forget, I'm trying to feel less. Remember, I was stressed and I fake like I sent you that drunk text. I was just dumb pressed, making a mess. Young nigga trying to get up now.